questions. So that's how we will handle our final tribal council. Okay, contestants uh, will be asking uh, the questions to our remaining uh, survivor contestants who've uh, survived so far. We'll be asking the questions in the order in which you were voted off. Kathy, I believe you were voted off first, so you have the opportunity to ask the first question. Chad, I'd like to ask you, what are you going to do with your women? With the money? That's a good question. Um, I think, first of all, I would have to um, start a Chuck Norris fan club. Um, with some of that money in. I'd be able to uh, create more of a martial arts um, kind of an environment for the rest of the world. Um, second of all, I think that I would uh, help support my fellow member um, of this new community we're in here. And I would have to give some money to help support the wildlife of America so that doesn't die off. Because, um, you know, Chuck Norris, he needs a shelter still. And if all his trees are gone, then he'll have nowhere to hide. Um, and no, the rest... Lost. I think I'm going to give to charity um, because, you know, the poor people in the world don't eat lip gloss. Okay, question number two, I believe Chris, you were the second one voted off. So Chris, you have the opportunity to ask question number two. Okay, my first question is for bachelorette number one. What would be your perfect date? Let's see, the perfect date. Um, I would have to say, like, April, April 23rd. Because it's not too cold, and it's not too hot, and all you need is a light jacket. And if you could be me for a day, how cool would that be? If we could be you for a day, how cool would that be? Was that, like, on a scale from 1 to 10? That'd be uh, cooler to be Chuck Norris for a day. I, I think it'd be kind of cool to live in. I think it'll be cool. I mean, he's a model. I mean, that's cool, right? Yeah. Okay, we're up to question number three, and I believe, Jordan, you were voted off, uh, the third person voted off. You have the opportunity to ask question number three. To be or not to be? That is the question. To be or not to be? I'd have to say to be. Because if you are being to be, then you can be one with nature. And how good is that? To be what? I don't understand. I don't get it. Do you get it? Yeah, to be. So it stings you. Oh. Okay, we're up to question number four, following that stimulating question from Jordan. Uh, I believe, Abby, you were the fourth one voted off. You have the opportunity to ask question number four. Crumple or fold? I think they're talking about toilet paper. Ew! And, uh, I, I don't, believe... I don't go to the bathroom. Ha has anybody ever seen Chuck Ugh. Norris take a crap? I don't, I don't think Chuck Norris uses Ugh. toilet paper. It, it doesn't matter. Um... I don't Ew. use toilet paper. Can we go to the next question? We're up to question number five, which I'm not sure what else you could say about Abby's question number four, but Cody, you were the last one voted off. You have the opportunity to ask question number five. Chad, I'd just like to know why. Why'd you, why'd you do that? Why'd you give up your immunity? It just blew my mind. Um, that's a good question, Cody. Um, but I will have to be honest with you and uh, say that I believe that that was wrong, uh, what you did by pushing Maggie. And, you know, I've, I've learned through this whole challenge and everything that, that we need to uh, stick up for our fellow members and the people that you know, we're working with. And so a chunk of worst thing to do would be to give up his because he's just...